Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I posted a video and I'm really sorry about that, but to be honest with you, nothing remotely interesting has been happening in my life lately. But I figured that today I'd come back and share a little update with you guys about what's been going on in my life recently. So this week, my family and I went out and got our second dose of the vaccine. So yeah, you'll see us in a sec at the vaccination center. And thankfully there weren't that many people and everything went pretty smoothly. It didn't hurt either. I currently don't feel any of the symptoms that people said they felt after getting their second dose, so I'm really glad about that. I felt super proud of myself for being brave. And by the way, if you're scared of needles, you might want to look away now. I'm a freak though, and I like watching when this happens to me. But yeah, anyway, when I finished everything, I went out to explore the area because I haven't been there in a while, like even before we got uh, the first dose. I think this area is the one right across Surendra, but I don't know what it's called. All I know is that it's in Tagig. And man, when I tell you how good it felt to actually be outside in the sunshine and see familiar surroundings, oh man, I was so happy. It was still mostly a ghost town, but thankfully a lot of my favorite shops were open, like the Face Shop and Lush. Oh my God, Lush. I almost forgot how good it smells in there. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film in the other shops that I visited, but people inside Lush were kind enough to let me do it. So thank you for that. And I really, really wanted to get sleepy lotion or the body wash, but I think I'll just save it for another time. Anyway, yeah, my mom treated us to some Baskin Robbins cause oh my goodness, it was so freaking hot. And thankfully it was pink day, which means that if you present any item that's pink, you get a free scoop. So yay. On our way home though, we decided that we would pick up some lunch to eat in the car. And I went to A Cuts because I was craving for a burger that day. This is actually my favorite burger place in Manila and the hangover burger is my top pick on their menu. I ordered a side of onion rings with it too and Jesus Christ, it was so damn good. I was so bummed when the A-Cuts branch near me closed down years ago and the one in the gig is the only one that I, that I can actually go to and my best friends and I used to eat there all the time when we were at uni but I guess now it's just like a rare treat. So yeah, after I ordered, I got out and I saw the shop called Art Bar which is one of my favorite places to buy art supplies. So I was really excited and I completely forgot to film anything, but I did buy a few things and I'll show it to you guys in a haul at the end of this video. Anyway, this is us driving home now, dealing with Manila traffic as per usual. And as annoying as it is to be stuck in traffic for a while, it actually felt nice to be out of the house. Plus it meant coming home to our super excited doggos. Like they're so cute. We actually adopted some of these strays that we had been taking care of for a while because we didn't want them to get taken away by the pound. And one of them who hadn't been spayed at the time gave birth a few months ago. So now we have a lot of puppies. They're so, so cute. But our main dog Mochi does get jealous. Actually, here she is getting super excited and flustered about us arriving. You know what? Sometimes she even pees herself because she's so happy when we come home. And it's honestly so nice to come home to someone who's actually happy to see you. After I was able to pull myself away from her, it was time to get clean. And I went and washed my hair and then I got in the tub. So, oh my God, it was so unbelievably hot outside. So I decided to cool myself down by taking a bath. Also FYI, the clips that I'm showing you here are actually kind of old, but I forgot to bring my camera in with me to the bathroom and I essentially did the same thing, which was to light candles, watch a TV show and put a face mask on. Here I'm just using the Glossier one that's moisturizing. I don't know, is it the moon mask? I can't remember. But yeah, after my bath, I spent the rest of the evening chilling out, watching a drama. The one that I'm watching here is called The King and it's on Netflix. So yeah, that was pretty much it for my day. Now, let me show you guys the art supplies that I picked up at Art Bar. So I mentioned yesterday that I went to Art Bar and after I went to A Cuts, I went straight to Art Bar and I was just like, oh my God, an actual art supply store. And I was really excited. So I went and rummaged through all of the aisles and all of the, the buckets of paints and art supplies. And I was just so happy. But I also bought a couple of books cause they had a ton on sale. So I was really excited about that too. 
Oh my gosh, this is pretty hefty. Um, <laughs> these are hardbound books, so yeah, they're thick. <sighs> okay, so I got two books, um, both hardbound, and they're still plastic wrapped. Yeah, the first one that I got is called Modern Art. I sound so pretentious talking about this, but <laughs> I got really excited because I'll be honest with you, I feel like I'm not as well versed as I should be, even though I am an artist. Well, I'm an artist, but I don't know. I can't name drop or talk about things off the top of my head, which kind of annoys me, but I just feel like instead of feeling sorry about myself, I should just read and learn. And my mom was telling me, why not just use Google? And I was thinking about that too, as I was, um, as I was browsing, like, why not just use Google? But there are a lot of things that Google or even Pinterest can't show me or tell me about that books are able to do. I feel like it's a better resource and at least I already have it on hand. Yeah, so I'd rather just have a book basically. So I picked up Origins of Modern Art, like I said, and I also found this, which is the story of painting, how art was made. Oh my God. The cover alone was enough to make me want to buy it. But when I looked inside, I was blown away at how comprehensive and detailed everything was inside. So yeah, I decided to pick that up. Both were on sale, so I kind of saved money. So I'm happy about that. And then I also bought paints. I got, oh, I don't know how you say that. Pebeo? Pebeo? P, I don't know. Um, a Studio Acrylics. I forgot to pick up plain white paint, which I'm annoyed about because I'm running low on that. But these were interesting colors and I really wanted to try them. And this one is Liquitex Raw Sienna. I also got polymer clay stuff, which I was so, 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 so happy to see because I've been looking for a lot of places that sell polymer clay, but like the specific brand that I wanted, but they all had like big blocks of it that I didn't really want to splurge on because I don't even know what colors I would like. So I looked for the multi-packs, but those aren't available as well. Like on any website, <laughs> it's really hard. So when I saw these, um, it was actually a pack of 16, but Kuya Brian, the guy who was helping me, so thankful for you, Kuya Brian, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for helping me out. So I got the 24 pack, which I was really happy about because at least now I can test out the colors that I want to use. I can start practicing now, thank God. And also they had this slicer from the same brand. Yeah, I think that's it. Is that all that I picked up? Wow, that was quite expensive <laughs> for what it was. That's all the stuff that I wanted to show you from Art Bar, but I figured that I'd show you guys like a couple of things that I bought from Shopee because I did um, purchase some, what are you called? Stationary supplies. So I bought a ton of washi tape, <laughs> like a ton of washi tape, but I'll show you guys first. I'll link all of the places that I bought it from, by the way but I got a set of 12 washi tapes. I think, I don't know what the brand is. They were just like really inexpensive and I think these people were preferred or had the most sales or something. So it just came in a set like this. Um, yeah, there's a cool version of this, but I didn't really feel like I wanted those colors. So yeah, th I think this is the warm set. And oh, it says it's masking tape. That's really weird. Whatever, I know that it's called washi tape. And then I also got these rainbow ones, which I've already used, but I bought a set of two. And how many come in these boxes? 10, yeah. So there's 10 in each pack. They're really thin ones. So I wanted to get a thicker one and a really thin one. So those rainbow ones are really good. So are the thicker ones as well, the warm toned ones. And then I also got these, <laughs> these Van Gogh ones. How do you guys say it? Is it Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh? I don't know. A lot of people have been um, telling me differently over the years, so I'm like a little confused. But when I was in Amsterdam, I heard somebody say Van Gogh and also Van Gogh. So, ugh. yeah, I don't know. You tell me. But yeah, so I got a couple of these as well. I wanted to get all of them, but I held back and I only chose my favorite ones. These are actually quite inexpensive, which I was really happy about. But yeah, so I got the Starry Night and uh, I, I can't remember the names of these ones. These two other ones, they're really pretty, but 
Yeah, I actually just wanted to get these two, but I figured Starry Night, how could I possibly go wrong with that? I also got like to go with the polymer clay stuff. I've already used this because I started practicing a couple of days ago, but I got like a whole block of white polymer clay and also a gloss glaze. The last thing that I got were these, I think these are meant to be like gold leaf paints or gilding paints. I got one in bronze and also gold. The gold one was the one I really wanted, but I, in case I didn't like the color, I wanted to mix it with the bronze. But I do like them. They just smell really bad, but I do like the finish of it. I think these are called Tamiya, Tamiya color. And again, I'll link everything down below, but that is it for my haul. This is my first time doing this kind of style of video. Hopefully <laughs> the voiceover wasn't that awkward, but yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Why did I wave like that? <laughs>